There are so many disasters in Vanuatu and disaster assistance happens so frequently in Vanuatu that providing cash transfers or looking at other options for delivering assistance to people faster and more cheaply is something that everybody is interested in talking about. So way back in 2015, during our cycling palm response and recovery work, we did cash transfer programming and we were able to secure some funding to help us document learning from cash transfer program. In 2017, we study, cash transfer disability study. Um, every province. So, um, all province Bini, Stephen W. Torpa, or Pacentano South, Lotana, Tafia, and we have a team of volunteers who have been able to do this in every province. We just to find them also. We have been able to establish a community, we have a story and more with them on um, uh, families through the fashion to focus group discussion, we have a household interview, we have a story and with them on a small uh, market. Inside the different province, maybe uh, same time in Australia, when they will own a small store, small, small business. We were studying feasibility not just from a theoretical or a top-down perspective, but that we were actually talking to communities to explain what cash transfers were and to consult them and find out whether they think it's something that's feasible in Vanuatu. The cash transfer feasibility study was an enormous effort. The process took about six months and ultimately we had you know over a thousand surveys so we had a massive amount of data and so for the past few months we've been analyzing, writing up the report and really digesting the contents of what we found on the ground which was overwhelmingly positive. One is in Vanuatu, just outside of Australia. Uh, it threatens to erupt. It hasn't erupted just yet, but there is a plume of water vapor that's shooting well into the sky, and uh, residents have been evacuated in and around the Vanuatu. So when Ambai was mandatorily evacuated, one of the questions that was asked of Oxfam was, well, what about cash transfers? And actually, government stakeholders were thrilled to find out that it could happen so soon in their area for a population of evacuees that were growing and growing and growing. We had already established contact through the working group with banking providers, so NBV and ANZ also came on board to support the program. Support with Oxfam and make them love me me lo me really helpful. So me no be want something when me holy me start from. I mean like some small small blow help them. Boy where me me been telling about finish with coffee. Blow help start blow me team some some need blow. After like small start blow blow me like help blow them greens blow me blow like. Be full up man I think me tell them small blow me me look see me be blow blessing to us. Blow me me be one. Cash transfers, I think, are increasingly used because they tend to be less costly, particularly in multi-island nations like Vanuatu, which has over 83 islands. The logistics cost of distributing money compared to distributing food or goods is much, much, much lower. Secondly, there is a component of choice and dignity that's associated with allowing people to spend where they need to spend, where they choose to spend, and on whatever the family needs. Um, lastly, cash transfers are more localized. So there is a multiplier effect. When somebody receives money locally, they spend that money in their local market. And in that way, you have a real localized effect in terms of recovery. And I think you have a longer term positive impact in terms of recovery after natural disasters.